Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True, Str True Street Crime. This is myself and Coleman Stein, better known as Southfield. Now, if you look at this picture, you see at this point, I'm damn near fin to be married and he's damn near, I think he was married. Now, if you look at this picture, you see the woman I got on this side is cut off and the woman he got on this side is cut off now. We didn't have, this is Jimmy. He used to have to cut the women off the goddamn pictures. This is the three omegles when we hanging now. You see how he had to fuck our pictures up. Now, let me go into this one. We over at Jason's in Canada. You understand? It was an all new spot. And it was a big time motherfucking porno star there. You know, she was there performing and doing. So, she come. Now, she jump on me. I'm wearing my mink and shit. Y'all know I got to stay sharp and blistered. She come jump on me, butt ass neck, totally naked in my mink coat, lay out in my arms like this, and they took a picture of it. Now, I tell Jimmy to hold a goddamn picture for me. Now, Jimmy, tell me who that girl was again that you threw the picture away that we was over in Jason. I know you know who she was because you knew who she was then was stop. And she jumped all over to me because you know what picture I'm talking about when we was over in Jason's. But let me say this to you about it. This is another Three Amigos story. This is motherfucking Southfield, EJ, and motherfucking 250, you understand? This is the motherfucking Three Amigos. So let me go back into... This goddamn Jimmy Coleman Stein. Let me tell you about him. Now, <clears throat> if your heart is broke, he is the man you definitely want. But goddamn it, if you a married man and you trying to stay at home with your wife, stay the fuck away from Southfield. Because you ain't going to have no goddamn home. Now, that's another thing about my motherfucking main man. And at that time, I was broken hearted. Goddamn it. My heart was smashed on broke. Now, we used to go down to uh, downtown, the Fish Bones. They had just opened it up every Friday night to see Lisa, Lisa Tanker. And then every Friday night, I'd be there. We got so good getting in Fish Bones after 12. It'd be so crowded. They closed it off. Security let us in through the back door. You understand? This was Friday night at Fish Bones when it just opened I'm chasing Lisa Tanker like a motherfucker, and my heart is broke and goddamn too. Okay. So now we down there. This particular night, the goddamn Detroit Pistons had lost to the Atlanta Hawk. When we walk in the door, the whole Atlanta Hawk team is sitting at the around the table, the first long table when you walk in fish burns. Fish bones right here at the bars there. The other bar there, it's a long table. The whole Atlanta Hawk team was sitting there, and they had just beat the Pistons in the playoffs. So one thing when I looked up, I saw a motherfucker, Kevin Willis. Now, I got to show y'all this picture. I got a Joe, which is Black's brother, who used to play basketball against Kevin Willis at Kettering now. So when I walk in and see Kevin Willis, because I know the face and know him well, all I can see in my goddamn mind, now I'm high off masculine this night. I'm feeling good than a motherfucker walk in here. When I see Kevin Willis, all I could hear was Joe saying, I used to bust his ass all the time. Kevin Willis couldn't handle me. This is Chop's brother, Joe. And I'm going to show y'all a picture of Joe. And every time I saw Kevin Willis, all I could hear was Joe saying, I used to bust his ass. He couldn't handle me. So now this is going on. Now, about this time, Dominique Wilkins stand up and walk over and hug Lisa Tanner. Goddamn, Dominique fucking Lisa. Lisa, this is just what I wanted. I didn't know that. But after that, I'm over on the other side, get drunk, get blown. She came and spoke as she was a perfect person, always do. That's one thing. At this time, it was two people, three motherfuckers I needed. Diane was one. Lisa Tanker was who was supposed to play 
replace Tanya and Jimmy to take me out acting a goddamn fool. Now, I got to say this about Southfield. He is a titty bar master. If you fuck with him, you gonna be in every titty bar in the goddamn city. Trust me on that. But let me go back to this. So Lisa Tinker came over, spoke everything nice, you know, hugged me all that, made me feel good like she always did. She was always a nice looking lady who didn't want Eric and stuck on herself. You understand? That was one thing nice about her. And that was, <clears throat> you know, at a time I needed somebody to be nice. She was honestly nice to me. But let me move on down. She didn't hug Dominique, so now I know I'm right now ass off looking for somebody else in there at night because I know if Dominique wanted it, it's his. So anyway, let me move on along on this page. And let me just ask this to Jimmy, and I'll move on. Now, Jimmy, you know how crazy I was over motherfucking Lisa Tanker. Now, Jimmy had this motherfucking girl at the titty bar he was in love with named Smokey. Her real name was Helene. Jimmy was head over motherfucking hills in love with her. And he always wanted to goddamn know that I fuck her. And I always wanted to goddamn know that he fuck a Lisa, Lisa Tanker. You understand? And the funny thing about that, now remember, Donnie Williams and his wife Deanne then fucked in high school. I didn't know who Deanne was then because it was two Deannes. One went to Southfield High and she was on the, the cheerleading team. Donnie Williams fucked her too. And he fucked the other one at Southfield Latham, which was Deanne, which turned out to be Jimmy's wife. So Donnie, I told and Donnie Williams, the last time I saw Lisa Tanker, she was with Donnie Williams. This is Eddie Jackson, Real True Street Crime. If you want to hear this shit, I'll tell it to you. But if you don't, I ain't going to even want to bend your ear with this shit, man. But if you want to hear it, I'll tell it to you. This is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crime. This is my ice of cold shake tea. Put it in a bottle of cold water. Shake it up with exercise. See, this is just goddamn ridiculous. You can't see. See how he cut the women out the goddamn picture? This is what Southfield did, thinking he goddamn slick, hiding from somebody. Look how he just destroyed the pictures. Anyways, if you'd like to give me a play, Go to my link, shop categories. Health and wellness is where you'll find this at. It is a CBD product. It's a cold combine cream. Rub it on your knees, it'll alleviate the pain. This is my Harmony Drops. Drop two under your tongue, let it sit for 60 seconds, and then swallow. And you know I love to smoke a joint with mine. I can't do it without it. And my before and after pictures are on my Facebook. I'm gonna tell all y'all that. And our challenge is five for five. Lose five pounds in five days. It is a total life change, and life is good if you don't listen to Benedict Arnold, Donald J. Trump, number 45. Hopefully, you'll be here. I'm praying for all of us. Stay safe. He's an enemy to the American people. Subscribe, share, and stay safe. I don't want to bend your ear. Thank you to all my subscribers. Please subscribe, share, and like. Thank you, you.